as you've heard, welcome to Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time. After so many years, we have ourselves a brand new Crash Bandicoot game. You might remember a couple years ago, the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy came out, and we played through all three games 100%. Even with Crash 3, it was 105% or something. It was crazy. So yeah, I'm so excited to do the same thing with this game. We'll be playing through the whole thing and getting all the collectibles, getting the game fully 100% completed. It's going to be a blast. You guys know I really like Crash Bandicoot games. So with that being said, let's get started with Crash Bandicoot 4, it's about time. Crash Bandicoot. At last, I, the great Neocortex, have you right where I want you. Oh no. And now the final blow. Oh. That's not a crash. Hush, simpleton. Face it, entropy. It's going to fail again. At least Uka Uka and I attempt to free us from this prison. I won't sit idly by and listen to your inane ramblings for another decade. Oh no, lots of tension. <laughs> so this is taking place right after Crash 3, or at least maybe 10 years, I guess, something like that. He said another decade. Interesting, whoa. Is he dead? Leave him, he served his purpose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm playing a new Crash Bandicoot game. A great power has awoken. Crash? I fear it portends an event of reality shadowing proportions. I feel it emanating from insanity peak. Quickly, we must go. After a quick nap, maybe. Crash. Crash. Ah. All right, let's go. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. I love it already. Wow. We're playing a new Crash Bandicoot game. This is so important to me. I mean, I gotta make it clear. The first game I ever played ever in my life was the original Crash Bandicoot. It came out the same year I was born. Crash Bandicoot 2 was one of the games that was the closest to my heart. It just... Oh, I love it so much. So I'm just so excited to be playing this. I never thought we'd have another true to form Crash Bandicoot game again, but oh, hey, look at us with the hat. Oh, look, this is a classic game. On um, Crash 2, and Crash 3, and then of course, what's after that? Crash 4. There's a lot of cool details here. Channel Surfer, we got a trophy as well. So I'll be trying my best, of course, to get everything completed on the first run through, um, but I'm guessing there will be some backtracking in this series. Um, unlike you know the Insane Trilogy walkthrough that I did, you know I sort of knew what I was doing with those games. I don't know the first thing about what's going on with this one, but so far it seems like classic crash action. Um, oh, 104 crates to get. And I know I'm playing on the modern, well, did we just miss some crates? Yes, we did. And that is something I'll try to be diligent with. But uh, with the modern version of the game, which is what I'm playing, there's also the retro mode. There are no lives in the modern version. I wanted to do that just because I sort of want to focus on enjoying the game. But if you guys want me to play the retro version with all the lives, let me know. Uh, jump on the TNT to start a countdown. Okay. So it's, of course, telling so, uh, some pretty basic stuff, just in case you've never played a Crash Bandicoot game before. Whoa. Which I definitely... Quickly, we must go. All right. There's Aku Aku. I definitely suggest you watch our playthrough of the first three games in the trilogy because it will give you a lot of context on how these games work. But it's just classic Crash Bandicoot action so far. Okay, Aku Aku seems to be having a good time. What about this little crate? No, I know, it's more of a conveys. Aku shields you from damage. So yeah, we can get Aku Aku right here in, in his little crate and he is going to help us take an extra hit. I don't know if this game will be as, oh my, this spider's sort of creepy. Can I spin him away? Oh, ah, got him. Oh, actually I got hit with that. Lesson learned. Oh, and with these I can jump on them and they're going to give me some extra fruit. So we're doing pretty good so far, about a third of the way there when it comes to uh, getting all the crates. Attitude sickness. I don't know if I like that. Oh, what did I hit there? There's our first death of many, be prepared. 
I'm gonna be dying a lot in this game. But it is pretty cool that Crash has most of his basic abilities from uh, Crash 3 and 2, we have the, the, the sliding and the high jump and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to try to just avoid you for this time. But it was the TNT I sort of slid into. That was a problem there. And the double jump too. That's how I'm gonna get ya. All right. Okay, okay. If I don't get rid of you, I think it's fine. Of course, we can double jump. Oh man. But of course, unlike the first three Crash games, these aren't made by Naughty Dog. They're made by Toys for Bob, which is a developer that I think worked on Spyro Reignited Trilogy. Wow, what is going on? Oh my, who are these people? Uh, hi. Uh, that's not good. Whoa, look at us. We're sliding on a vine. This is for like Ratchet and Clank. This is so cool. Oh my goodness. There we go. Can I get them all? So far, so good. Can I double jump while I'm on the vine? I can't, so we gotta make these jumps worth their while. Sometimes the angle's a little bit odd, but boom, another checkpoint and another Aku Aku crate. Not quite done yet, though. I got 191 Wumper Fruit. I don't know what the Wumper Fruit will be used for if it's not for lives, though. I'm a little bit curious about that. Ow! Oh, this guy has some range moves to him. Okay, so so far I think we're doing a good job with the crates, but it only takes one missing crate for us not to get everything we want. So we can go to here. Is that, a, is that a, an outhouse? Ow. Oh no. Ooh, the double hit there though. Looking good. But so far the game is super pretty. These platforms are gonna fall. Ooh. Awesome. This is like the next gen crash game of my dreams when I was younger. It's so cool. And we got a bonus panel. Ooh. So it looks like we have eight crates to collect on this. Right there, there we go. Awesome. And how exactly am I getting that? Okay, what I guess I could do is I could, yep, do a little bit of that. That's seven out of eight. And then the last one is boom right there. Is that Tana? Yeah, Tana's on the pillow there. There are definitely some trailers of the game I avoided because I didn't want to see what was happening. I know that one of them showed Tana in some way, but I don't know too much more than that because I wanted to be, you know, seeing the game. Taking the side road, trophy earned. So I don't know if this game's gonna be organized in worlds like some of the other Crash games are in like warp zones or in islands or however, but I'll be trying to tackle it sort of one section at a time, just so that way it's sort of easy to know what's gonna be included in each episode. We'll have to see how that works out though. But there we go, we get our next checkpoint. Oh my, this is looking threatening. But we only need 11 more crates. What is going on with this thing now? Whoa, so these platforms will also fall, it seems, but only if I land on the platform itself. The crates are sort of in the clear. Gotcha. Okay. And we're at 97, 98. I really hope I haven't missed any. Well, I don't know if I trust this platform. Oh my, the, the, the challenges are already getting tough and more reminiscent of some of the very challenging original Crash Bandicoot levels. But yeah, definitely let me know if you've played a Crash Bandicoot game before. Is this your first one? Do you plan on getting the game yourself? I would love to hear all about it. Let's bounce off of this guy though. Get some extra crates out of it. We're at a 101 out of 104. Is there three crates remaining? Oh, there is! Did we do it? Oh, the first, well not the first try. I did die, but I didn't have to retry the entire level. So I still consider that the first try personally. And boom, 104. So let's see what that gets us. It's gonna get us our first gem. Awesome. I wonder if there's crystals in the game as well. Rude Awakening level complete. Huh, okay, so gems and skins. Gems unlock skins. Earn gems by breaking crates, getting Wumpa, finding hidden gems, and beating levels in three lives or less. We did good there, we only lost one life. Excellent. So there is a hidden gem somewhere in here, and if we get that, we unlock a chicken skin for Crash. Interesting, I wonder if the hidden gem is the time trial, or what's going on with that? I guess I'll have to wait and see. But we're going to end Sound of the Peak now. Very interesting. And it might be that we'll have to do a lot of backtracking to fully get the game 100%. But I will, by the end of it, get the game 100%. That is definitely in my plan. Whoa. So we just go right into the next level. There's not even really a any kind of level select, it seems. What is pass and play? Pass and play, just like the old days. Two to four players take 
turns to complete the levels. Interesting. Yeah, I, I wonder how I get to like a level select, but we're just in a new level now. So might as well just enjoy this one. There are 86 crates to find in total. Ooh, golden Wumpa crates give 25 Wumpa. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Hmm. This level is ominous. So far, atmospherically, this game is top notch though. Whoa. Lots going on, we get our first checkpoint. If these guys with the masks are a little weird, I haven't seen them before, but they're flying away. I wonder if we'll be seeing any like classic enemies. We already saw a hog in the previous level. I can only imagine maybe more enemies like that will pop up. It'd be cool if there's another like hog level. Like we had in the wow, original Crash Bandicoot. Ooh, big Wampa right there. Always nice to have. Gotcha. So I'm definitely keeping an eye out this time. Spin while standing still. Gotcha. But I'm definitely keeping an eye out for any kind of like secret that might lead to some kind of hidden gem. That could be just about anything, right? Oh my. Gotcha. And let's go for it. Okay. We made it, we made it. Awesome. Whoa. But yeah, visually this is stunning. I mean, so far the gameplay is really fun too. Whoa, okay, yeah, I don't wanna get hit by that. I don't have an Aku Aku right now, so I do have to be careful. So I can't take any more hits then. But we do have ourselves a bonus area already. So we're zooming through these levels pretty quick. All right, definitely get some extra Wumpa Fruit right here, because apparently at some point, while holding circle, double jump. Yep, just like that. Apparently at some point we'll be able to use all that to get some extra costumes. That sort of seems to be a big thing in this game is the different collectible skins. I think you even get a couple for pre-ordering the game, so hopefully at some point we can showcase all of those. Okay, I probably could have gotten some extra Wumpa Fruit out of that. Oh well, it is what it is. Gotcha. And then let's make sure we actually get that. Awesome. So there we go, 12 extra crates. Almost halfway there, but you can see, oh, that's so cool. So on the top left, you can see a Wumpa counter to getting us more gems. That's why it's, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, there goes our first death. At least for this level. That's tough though, you gotta be quick with that. Whoa, we made it, we made it. But I'm definitely going to be trying to fill up that Wumpa meter so that we can get more gems. We're already up to two. Whoa, and there are some, the pacing of this is fast. But there are some crates that just sort of disappear and reappear, that's tricky. Gotta keep a good pacing. Oh no, and that's right, when you die, all of the crates you get after that checkpoint go away. There we go. There we go, ooh, I'm getting a groove now. Whoa. Okay, I got it. What's going on with this guy? He's snoozing. Is this a new mask? Oh yeah, it is. Hey. Oh no, was that a trap? Uh, uh, oh, you okay, buddy? Oh no. I think we might have awakened something. <laughs> you and me both, buddy, let's get out of here. Whoa, we got one of the chasing levels. These are really cool, but also really scary because of something chasing us. Oh, hidden gem. Okay, so maybe it's just that easy sometimes. All right, I'll have to keep that in mind. Oh my, oh my, oh my. There's like a wave of energy, of ghostly ghoul energy chasing us. Oh, did we really get away from it that easy? I don't think so, he's back. He's not happy with us. But what happened to that one mask? Hopefully we can catch back up to him. Was he a good guy, a bad guy? You can go either way with Crash Bandicoot. Some of the masks are good, some of them are bad, like Aku Aku and Uka Uka. All right, not bad, oh! Didn't even see that rope before I sort of grabbed that. But the chase continues. We're not out of the woods just yet, or out of the cave. Come on, there we go. 
I love Crash's slightly altered, but overall new design now. Oh gosh, oh gosh, ah! <laughs> that was too close, we almost got gobbled up by a ghost. And there we go, we get a gem, I guess for all the crates, but I didn't get as many Wumperford as I needed, I don't think. Reality shattering proportions, or maybe I did. All right, so for that we get the big horn energy costume for Coco, that's cool. I'm really happy about that. So hopefully we can play as Coco sometime soon. But yeah, Crash looks a little bit different. He's a little bit more like, I guess like huskier, in my opinion. Um, he looks good though, I, I like the design. So we unlocked the time trial for that one, and we got the hidden gem. So I'll have to go back to that first level to find it, but hey buddy, you okay? Uh, oh no, the chase is still on. Uh, Oh, hi, Coco. Get him off, get him off, get him off. Crash, who is that? Lonnie Loli? If the quantum masks have returned, then... Hey, Aku, how's it go? Is that a quantum rift? Yes, it is. It appears to be a door between dimensions. <laughs> yes, yes, the kind we keep shut. We have to go through find my siblings and fix this before some putz with a big evil plan and a bigger ego does something monumentally stupid. Uh-oh. We might be a bit too late for that one. Here he is. Unknowingly paved the way for our bright future. Once my rich generator is complete, dominion over all of time <laughs> and space will be within our grasp. Engine embryo. Hey, you they're back! projects you wanted to tell me about? Master, my mechanical marvel will hypnotize you and I. Then my potion will make me and them unstoppable. Right, you're fine, sure. Have fun with your ray guns or whatever. <laughs> oh, no. Steps. By my calculations, our enemies are already moving against us. And we will... Prevail. Seems like Entropy's actually the one really pulling the strings in this one. Sort of like in Crash 3, he's the, the real mastermind behind this. Cortex is a little goofy, but I think he has the, the evil spirit, right? That's one of the biggest things, the motivation. All right, so as you can see, here's our level select. So now we know there's a rift in the dimension, the dimensional map. Welcome to the dimensional map. Here you can select levels to play, switch between Crash and Coco, change skins and replay levels to take on time trials. Excellent. So where are we going next? Ooh, look at this. Wow. So we're going to just like different places in time. And I guess in different dimensions as well. It's more than just time. So of course, that was end sound of the island present day that we've been playing at. I definitely wanna go for that other gem. But the area we'll be going to next episode, I suppose, is the hazardous wastes in the year 28, 2084. That looks cool. So I'm really looking forward to that. Now we know what we'll tackle each episode. But for right now, I'm gonna run back to Rude Awakening and see if we can't get that last gem. Oh, I saw it for a second. Okay, so the gem was hidden inside of the, uh, the toilet, in the bathroom. That's what was in there. Okay, so it's very important to pay attention to little context clues like that. So there we go, I found the hidden gem. That's very awesome. Um, I'm just gonna go and complete the level. You guys have already seen it, so I'm gonna complete it real quick, and then I will be back to, uh, what's it called? I'll be back to uh, see what we can do next. I at least wanna take a look at the extra skins we've just unlocked. All right then, so yeah, End Sound of the Island present day, fully 100% completed, not too bad when there's only two levels, right? So there's still a couple things I wanna poke around with. If we press a square button at any point in time, we can switch over to Coco, which is what I think we'll do for fun next episode, is we'll play through that world with Coco, so stay tuned for that. But also there's different skins for each character. We just got the big horn energy. Um, this is what we unlocked for the second level. And Sound of the Peak, we got all gussied up. Look at how cute that is, that's a little unicorn one. Now down here we want a couple other things. This one I need to beat the game for. But some of these I think were through either pre-ordering the game or one of the other things, I don't really know. <laughs> but we got the digital download, which is like a pretty cool like 90s, I guess, inspired one. Um, we got Marsupi Marsupus Erectus, which is like a caveman one. Interesting. Uh, serious upgrade, super technological and stuff. 
very cool. And 316 no scope. Oh, it's like a gamer version. Very cool options here, but we're gonna keep with, you know, basic Coco next episode. But for Crash, we just got the chicken costume here. <laughs> I like I like the beak just like strapped to his nose like that. Oh, that's like an engine one. Um, unlock in a real grind. I don't know what level that is, but I'm sure we'll get there. Another one where if we beat the game, we unlock that. We got the totally, totally tubular one. Um, that was a digital download, apparently, all of these. Um, we got the Marsupis Erectus again. This time for Crash, I like his beard. The Serious Upgrade and 360 No Scope. So it's the same costume names, but different costumes. Very, very cool. Oh, okay, so it tells you. So this one was for di getting the game digitally. This one was just by unlocking it? I don't know. Um, this one, yeah, these ones it doesn't tell me, but um, this one is for signing it for an Activision account. I'm pretty sure these were for pre-ordering pre the game or something. I don't know, but um, yeah, very cool to see these costumes. I'll definitely continue to work on getting more of them. I think that there might be more DLC for costumes later down the line, I'm not sure. And one last final thing, because I'm sure I'm gonna get questions on it. I do plan on doing the time trials. I'm sure it's gonna be like Crash Bandicoot 3 where you have to complete them for full percentage completion. But with that being said, it might also be like Crash 3 where we unlock abilities later on that might help us get these done faster, like a sprint. So I'll probably be saving all the time trials for a section in the series after we complete the main game. So with that being said, stay tuned for next episode as we tackle a whole new area. Once again, that is going to be, of course, uh, the Hazardous Wastes 2084. So with that being said, that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.